I'm Bear Grylls. I've served with the British Special Forces, climbed to the summit of Everest, and crossed the frozen oceans of the Arctic. Now, I'm going to take you through five of the most dangerous places on the Earth to see if you've got what it takes to make it out alive. This is Man vs. Wild, the game. Oh, I've got what it takes to make it out alive. And you will soon see that. I'm Victory1140 from Gentlemen with Controllers, and uh, doing something a little new today. Uh, I'm also playing Man vs. Wild, as you can see right here, so th this ought to be fun. No, I started up, uh, or I want to start up a new series kind of thing, tentatively called uh, Victory's Grab Bag for now. Um, we'll probably think of a better name later on. But my intention for this series is to play games that I either wouldn't regularly play or just random games that catch my eye. So I walk into a Best Buy or a GameStop or something, and I'm going to actually hit play here so I can actually get going. Anyway, so I walk into a, a Best Buy or GameStop or just anywhere and pretty much just find a random game. Anything that catches my eye. The title, the the cover, anything like that. In this case, I'd never heard of a Man vs. Wild game. I'm probably a little behind the times. I'm sure it's uh, probably the most popular game out there. Um, but I hadn't heard of it, so I figured, yeah, why not start with something I'm somewhat familiar with. Or someone that, something that I've at least heard of. Oh, wow, alright, and uh, we're, we're getting on to the basics now. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get going here. Alright, doing, doing prep work, oh, okay. So I'm gonna move Bear, which button do I press to make him drink his own piss? I would hope that that would be a dedicated button. Or maybe a button combo. It doesn't look like that's on here, and I'm a little disappointed, honestly. Ah! Okay, I just skipped hydration, can I go back? Okay, so that's hydration. That's my energy. Apparently my health is... Okay, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna go. Alright, so I'm gonna crawl right here. A anyway, so this game did catch my eye just because I... Like I said, I didn't know there was a Man vs. Wild game, so... <laughs> I figured, why the hell not? I'll start with something that I'm a, a little familiar with here, and, uh... Kind of ease myself into it. Hopefully, uh, as time goes on, if I continue this, I'll be playing a little bit more... Ah, random games. Like, things that I've just flat out never heard of. But, we'll see, uh... We'll see what happens. I also don't do any research on the games before I pick them up. So, this is the first one I've gotten, and I, I just walked in, and... Actually, I found this one online, but I went into a GameStop and actually picked it up. Um... So, I, I saw it online, and it's like... Okay, I, I've got to play this game. Oh, I don't want to start climbing that way. I want to start going this way. Uh, when I when I saw, why do I need to balance if there's a rope right next to me holding me up? Anyway, uh, so I saw this game and just said, "All right, I'm gonna play it." I didn't look up anything on it. I didn't look up reviews before I bought it. Um, afterwards, I, I kind of did just a little bit, and it doesn't look too careful. terribly bad, These but uh, I'll probably terrible. refrain from doing that later on and just... <laughs> oh, okay. Standing dodge, falling dodge. Sure. Sure. We'll, we'll just... Oh, rattlesnake. Can I, can I stab him? Oh my god, quick time events. Holy shit. Whoops. Well, he's fucked now. I just killed Bear Grylls. Oh, I'm supposed to keep pressing the button. That would explain a little bit. Oh! The snake's dead. Let's kill it. Let's kill it and drink its piss to gain its power. Yes. For later. You can cook your dinner over the fire you built and get more energy. Or eat it raw for a quick boost. But run the risk of getting sick. I run the risk of what? Eh, forget it. I run the risk of being awesome. That's what. So, the game doesn't actually feel too bad right now. It, it feels kind of... It feels pretty smooth. Uh, press the what now? Sure, press the white button. I can barely see what that actually says. I can combine some of these things that I've collected and make even better tools. What did I just pass over? Oh, it's... Okay, it's a back button. That's what I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm gonna die so fast right here. This is like the... The, uh... This is like Don't Starve before it actually came out. It was just called Man vs. Wild. I'm pretty sure this is where the Don't Starve guys got their idea from. 
Come on, up and over the rock. What do you mean I can't move on until I finish this area? What do I need to do? Ooh, I, s I found a trout. Let's let's kill him. Come here. Come here, you little bitch. Hey, fuck off. Two trout. Holy shit. Well, clearly I can't do anything to him. What are my objectives? Do I have objectives? Oh, I can hold liquids in that. Should I use that and hold some liquid in it? Like, you know, my piss? I've always wondered what it was like to drink your own piss, and now thanks to this game, hopefully I will be able to find that out. Th that's the major thing that I'm looking forward to from this game. What do I have to finish up? I, there's no button to, to tell me what I need to do. It just Man, says... So thirsty. Oh, should I drink this? Okay, that wasn't just me. That's yellow right there. This game is subliminally making me drink my own piss. I, I, li I got water right from here. You can clearly see that's blue, but I swear that stream was yellow. Okay, what do I have here? What are you? What are you? A beak. Oh, I can be combined with a stick. Where am I going to get a stick around here? Alright, there we go. Eat some food. Okay, that did me a lot of good. Whoops. I probably wasn't supposed to do that. Well, I fucked up. Oh, okay. I probably have to find a stick so I can spear a fish. I guess it would help just a little bit if I listened to the game. But then again, what fun would that be? Alright, where... Okay, it clearly wants me to find a specific stick here. Because I can't just walk up to any of these trees and break a branch off or something. No, I, I have to find some kind of specific so stick. It, shut up. You're not thirsty. You just had something to drink. And now you're in a waterfall. Okay. Where's my stick? Where's my stick? Fook me, where the hell is it? Can't go any further than this, and... I don't see any yellow uh, markings like I did before. That helped me pick up a couple of things. I already forgot what I picked up, but I picked up something. Yeah, let me combine this with... Oh! Jesus Christ! Wow. If anyone is actually watching this, you probably wanted to just punch the living crap out of me right there. I literally did not know I had that stick in my inventory the whole freaking time. Oh, don't worry, I'll I'll punch myself for you. Alright, it'll make it easier to catch fish, alright. Once I start fishing, how do I- oh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna spear my own fish. Come here, you fuck. Come here, you fuck. Ah! Gotcha! Yes! I am a survival master. Can I can I stab the other one too just for the for the heck of it? Please? 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 Damn. I just want to stab another fish. Why must this game always impede my fun? I ask you. All right, anyway. So, now that I finally got that the hell out of the way, apparently I didn't know I had to stick in my inventory. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now I can bring up my objectives. Could I do that before? I think the D-pad was probably the only thing that I didn't hit in my random button mashing. Alright, so now I need to make a fire. Let's... Sure, I'll start the construction challenge. I need three small sticks and one pine needle. The fire is useful in so many ways. It'll keep you warm, help keep animals away at night, and work as a great way to cook up a tasty dinner. I like how he needed to explain fire. It is an incredibly complex tool, and you can burn shit with it. Because Excellent. who doesn't want to burn shit? We need to start a fire. We go back to where we started and build it there. All right, let me see the instructions. Putting the sticks together in a pile. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, 
I literally have to put the sticks over it. And... Okay. Put the sticks over the fire and the kindling underneath. Oh, okay, I have to use... Wow, I have to use both thumbsticks to do that. My left thumbstick will control the kindling. I'm sorry, my right thumbstick will control the kindling. And my left thumbstick controls the... The, uh, the other stuff. The pine needles, I guess. Because that's one pine needle right there. That's all I picked up. It said I needed one pine needle. So that entire lightish gray blob right there was one pine needle. A light would be the easiest way to get a fire going. But it would make this game all too easy. Instead, we'll have to use some of the well-tested methods that I've Oh, wow. All right, strike three in a row. Let's go. Woo! One, two, three. Oh, my God. So I'm supposed to stay in this range. You know, this actually isn't bad at all. Good job. It's, a, it's actually kind of cool. They find cool ways to make these stupid little mini games. I'm sure they'll get old eventually, but hey, for now, they're keeping my attention. Cooking the meat or fish will increase your energy level. All right, let me cook my fish. Too long, it will lose nutrients. If you don't cook it long enough, you can get food poisoning. That can lead to dehydration and then a lack of energy. So watch the color of what you're cooking. If it gets too dark, you're burning it. If it's too pink, it isn't cooked enough. Okay. So Clearly, I'm not a uh, someone that you should have at your uh, grill out, cookout, because I can't cook. I apparently just cooked that fish terribly. So I'm going to build a shelter. And all right, what do I need? I need a large log, some small sticks, some moss, and some pine needles. One of the most important things when you're I really wild, hope that after I finish sure playing this game that I will be able to just go out into the wild and throw myself in the middle of it and be able to survive. I will learn from this game and I will pick up all my survival instincts from it. That was a small stick? That was a... Okay, there we go. That's better. Just a little bit of a delayed reaction there. I was going to say, that was a huge fucking long stick. Small stick. Fuck it. Do I have everything I need? Nope, I need one more small stick. I think. Alright, small stick. There we go. Alright, let's build a shelter. Woo! Alright, so I'm going to bring my blog right there, and I'm going to bring my... Come on, come on. Do I have it? Do I have it? I have it! What a shelter! You wish you had... Oh, I'm not done yet. Where's the rest of it? Where's this supposed to go? You wish you had a shelter this big. I have like the nicest shelter in these woods. Oh, cool. I can uh, upgrade some stuff. So let me improve my hydration. Because that's how... It, it's just quick evolution. That's what I'm doing. When you're lost, something as simple as a bed can make the wild feel like home. Oh, it does feel like home. And I'm just going to fall asleep. And this game is actually keeping my attention pretty well. But will it continue to keep my attention? Yeah, we'll have to find out. Make sure to stay tuned for the next part.